Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this tutorial, I want to talk about the layer tool and show you something that's really pretty fun to do. The layer tool is found under the advanced category of the toolbox down here. You can just grab the layer tool like you would anything else and draw a layer onto the canvas. Now, a layer is simply an object that contains other content, images, a background, text, and anything you can imagine you can put into a layer. Now, why would you do that? Well, the reason is a layer can have its own attributes, and you can do some fun things with layers. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a repeating header and a repeating footer. That's a great use of the layer tool. It's the most common use, but there's some other things you can do that are kind of fun. And so we're going to play with the layer tool here in this video. First thing I'm going to do is double click on it. Like most objects in 90 Second Website Builder, you can double click on it and set its attributes. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to design my layer to be, let's just make it a header. So first I want it to have a background. So I'm going to go find an image and I'll make this be the background color of the layer. And I think I want it to be, oh, let's say about that wide. We'll make it be the top of my uh, website here. It'll end up being up here. But for now, I'll drag it down here so we can work with it. I'm going to double click, and I'm going to add a couple other attributes to it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change its mode. I'm going to call it a sticky layer. Now, this is kind of a funny name, but a sticky layer is a layer that you can actually animate. I'll show you what I mean. Here I'm going to uh, just leave it as a sticky layer. We're going to leave the... Uh, offset setting here and the delay setting here because I want to show you what it does. Let me drag this down here and I'm going to preview my work by clicking F5. Watch what happens to my header. You'll notice when the page loaded that the layer object and its background floated right up to the top of the page. That's an animation effect that would happen when your page loads if you use this feature. Here's how it worked. Let's close the preview and go back. So what I did was I created a sticky layer with an offset of 0, 0. What that means is I want this layer to end up in position 0, 0. That is 0 pixels in and 0 pixels down from the top. In other words, in the top corner. Now if I was to move my layer farther off of the canvas, let's put it way down here. Of course I can go lower by doing this, but let's just do this. And preview again by clicking F5, you can see it comes from that initial location and creates an interesting animation. So let's go get our layer and mess around with that. So now that you see what sticky layer does, let's put some objects in here. So background is one thing I can do. And I did that by simply choosing a background image. I could also, uh, instead of using an image, I could just choose a color and I could do some other things that way. Maybe put a border around it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the image tool and I'm going to put an image inside. First, let's find an image. Here we go. Picture of a good looking guy. Uh, actually, no, it's a picture of me. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to put it inside the layer. Now watch what happens when I take this image and I put it inside the layer. You'll notice it's not actually inside yet. It's not inside the layer or part of that until the layer highlights. I don't know if you can see that because of the color, but the layer highlighted a light blue border as you can see right there. I'll do it again. I'm outside of the layer, now inside the layer. That means this image, this object, is now part of the layer. And if I was to move this, it would go with it. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. So let's do that. Let's put this image here. And in fact, since it's part of the layer, I can actually bring this layer down and it'll stop right up against that image. Bring this edge in and it will stop automatically. See, it just stops right up against it because it knows that it's part of the image. So now I have a layer with uh, an image in it. You can also do that with text. So let's try that. Let's get some text here and let's edit that. And let's see, since that's going to be dark, let's make this a lighter color like white. And let's make it a bigger font really big in fact. Let's make it about 24 and let's make it bold. There we go. So we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to stretch it this way. Okay. So just so you can see, this is now part of this one object. An object with a background, image, and text. 
and one that's going to animate. I'm going to have it come from the bottom. I could have it come from off screen if I wanted to, but I'm going to have it come from the bottom and I'm going to have it animate to the very top corner. I could also slow down that animation if I wanted to. It was set to 500. Let's see what it looks like at 1000. I'm going to preview and you see it does go a little bit slower than it did at 500. 500 goes a little bit faster, obviously. So let's watch that. There it goes. Kind of a nice effect. And what's great about it is you're not limited to animating just one layer. Here's another way to do it. Let's grab the layer tool and let's uh, put an image in there. So let's go get another image. So I'm going to get the image tool and here's a book cover. So let's put this book in here. As you can see, here's a better way for you to see how that highlights once the image is inside the layer. That means this image object becoming part of the layer, and that's why it moves around with it. I could move it out of it like this, and you'll see it's no longer part of the image. Or no longer part of the, the layer, I should say. So let's put it in here. Okay. And uh, let's use the layer, and we don't need it to be all that big because we're just going to use this layer attribute to animate this image. So I really don't need the layer to show because if I preview now, what I'll have is my animation and then I have this layer with a gray background. I don't really want that gray background. So let's do this. I'm going to double click on the layer, go to the style, and I'm going to make the background be white. All right. Now, let's preview this, and there's my animated website, so to speak. But what if I animate this uh, object as well? Can we do that? Let's see. Let's put this. Whoops, I grabbed the object. I meant to grab the layer. There we go. Don't want to make that mistake. Let's put this off screen, and this is a default, so let's change this to a sticky layer. And let's move this, oh, I don't know, maybe 500 pixels over and let's try 25 pixels down and see what happens. F5 to preview. Ooh, there's my animation. Well, I'll have to mess around with the settings because it landed a little bit over. But the point is, I can animate these layers by setting an orientation for them. It's a great little trick to add some pizzazz to your website. I'm going to do that again. Let's see. Maybe I'll make it, uh, let's have it come over 700 and come down 20 see what that does here I'm getting closer to it looking better it's a fun little tool to use just to add some animation to your website so play with the layer tool and see what you can create